Guys, um, honestly, I feel like I want to leave you with a very strong, a little bit difficult transmission today. So specific themes that are coming up for this transmission today are choke truth, um, money, money stuff, cults, and the matrix really are like prison grip. <laughs> much do we maybe shut up or not voice out our truth because out of fear of rejection or not belonging um, or even because it's controversial um, it's not the thing that the other person wants to hear um, yeah how much of our truth is actually shut down as as I'm saying this actually it's reminding me of the map of the earth uh, with the chakras all over the earth and the Middle East actually being the throat chakra of the earth and that is actually fascinating I actually come <laughs> have originally come from Lebanon so from the Middle East and growing up there is just like such a huge inversion of how much there is no room for rebellion there is no room for speaking your truth whatsoever especially if it's not following specific dogmas or specific um, institutions like it's so it's so locked but seeing it on an individual level of how much of a specific truth of something that you know or something that you are embodying in that moment specific expression that you are that you start taming you start um contracting restraining holding back instead of letting out your own expression because you feel it's not approved of you feel it won't be allowed and either as you feel it because it really is the case from your external environment is not allowing it but also checking in with oneself the conditioning the programming that is really set up here and it's really intertwined there with you know the truth of this realm the truth of this world, the truths that are coming up to the surface, the deceptions that are falling apart, and really seeing it from really the truth of like this false grid, the false matrix, the prison grid, and really noticing that you see through the show, you see through the BS, and how much can you actually talk about it, right? And again, noting, know, uh, knowing that there's layers to truth, so you feel like that is a truth in the moment and then there's actually higher truth that want to come in as well uh, so it's a very important time to be i feel open-minded and open-hearted and that is where i'm going to actually lead it to where your expression right because that's where we're talking about so expression doesn't necessarily have to be that you want to get into politics or specific truth of this realm with another person it could be you expressing who you are in the Middle East, there's no such thing as that. It's like you're just enslaved. You're enslaved to the system and you gotta be, you're really enslaved to the culture and you gotta be and follow the culture as it is. That is the very heightened expression there. But every different culture has its own also limitation and conditionings and where they go through that. Um, but through that, of you fully expressing yourself, feeling that freedom that you're not constraining or uh, restricting yourself, that's where it goes also with money. And I'm going to kind of link it here because this is a very important time now that is really heightening to see one's ego. And I've been speaking about it this last month, about really a heightening of the ego constructs. And we're really seeing things that you did not know that it was your ego, but you're really realizing that actually it is a construct. It is an old programming that is no longer serving you. That constriction of you expressing yourself in your own truth gets when you want to express out right you want to embed out it's also intertwined with money and why i'm saying that is because money in reality there's so many different perspectives out there and it's kind of like oh i maybe you're in that position where you got overwhelmed on you've tried so many things and nothing's working i get it <laughs> there's a reason for that because each person has also their own blueprint there's so many perspectives out there around money and what works and what doesn't but this one of like you actually fully expressing yourself is that there's this perspective right money is cannot intertwine with spirituality whatsoever so you have that very strong lack mentality within the spiritual community is like 
the money. Money is a tool that was created from the matrix. It's from the false grid. It's evil. It's manipulative. It's all these different things. Great. Now, the thing is, is that what I want to say is that if you believe that, live by it. So if you're someone that is listening to this and you're like this, okay, this video might not be for you or whatever it might. But what I'm saying is that then just go and live off the jungle, live off grid. Don't use money. Um, completely live disconnected from anything from society or maybe create your own society where I don't know how are you exchanging? How are you supporting one another? Right? What are you doing? So that's a huge other topic. But if that's what you believe, then go ahead and live by it. And I think this is what's really coming through here is this realization or this coding of groundedness. Groundedness within one's own template. What template are you walking, are you standing on? What, literally see it like your own, your own matrix, your own grid that is around you. What is in your grid? What is the template, the foundation of your grid? What is the extension of it? Which all of this is your life. How would your life, how do you want to build your life? Really, these questions are very, very important right now. It's not like looking into the future, like you're overthinking about the future. But these times are very beautiful, actually. When you look into the past and you see what led you to now, the choices maybe you've made, the decisions that you've made that were maybe on, based on unconscious reality. And look into the future, and it's a very great time right now to re, re it's like a reconstruction. Um, it's a redesigning of your own architecture, your own template. And that is where the self-expression, the expression of your own truth that is not necessarily through your voice, because that's the thing, it's not just like, truth is not only through words, it's an embodiment, it's a living. That expression is gonna be intertwined to money, which is an exchange, which is what you give and you take from the external world, which is building your design. The interface between your own design your own architecture, your own, your own template, and the other person template. What is that exchange? And that is where the question is coming up from. Because then there's, there's other perspective, right? Where, okay, like, yeah, like spirituality is a core of all evil. Great. But then, okay, as I said, either do that, or if not, then you prefer to go and live a job or do a job or get, you know, work somewhere full time where you are interfacing you are outputting and putting energy in a way that is not what you want to build your foundation on why because it's not it's restraining you it's restraining your self-expression if it is if you're okay with it and you find that it's not and it's a place where you flourish and you're integrating aspect of yourself it's great but otherwise, this is the point where to look into what are those belief systems of why I don't want to express, I don't want to expand and completely look into those, this relationship with money. What is that relationship with money? And realizing, okay, you are within that grid. You are within that collective matrix. You are part of it. And just like the body, it's kind of looking into the same. If you look into your body and you're like, you know what? This body was designed or built and our DNA was, you know, reconstructed and re-engineered and this entire reality was completely inverted and uh, manipulated by the controllers and um, by the fallen ones whatever you want to call it. Then you can say the same about your body. You can say the same about your entire life then reject all of that. But otherwise, if you want to take on the perspective that everything is a thing, everything is a reconstruction, a redesigning, and that you are, you have the power to redesign in the best way that you can, right? To redesign what is those different codes that are the threads of your reality. Where is the money? Where is the family? Where is, and to choose the heart to lead those different angles of your life, those different threads, let that be the leading force and taking on that different perspective. So looking and bringing in the money into the center and looking at it from different perspective and seeing why is it so inverted? Why is it so feared? So it feels like there's this very strong unrooting of as if you're literally pulling every single thing that is, let's say it's, it's different trees in your life, which are the different dimensions of your life. 
and you're pulling them one at a time and really looking at them from three third dimensional reality or fourth dimensional reality and studying them and seeing what is really the programming and the conditioning that was placed to imprison you and what is the different cutters that can actually flow out of it and same when it comes here to in relation to money or in relation to your work in relation to your interface where you put out your energy understand that money if really embodied taking on as an extension of this paradigm that we live in so in this paradigm that you live in you got to take care of your body your body is not this what you imagine it to be that it has wings and it can fly and you can just not give it food or not give it water for like a whole year there are specific foundations and requirements that are needed for this body and depends on your environment same with money money is a required resource that is functional right now that is acquired and required so when you take it and look at it from all different lenses and perspectives and see how can we upgrade it how can you take it and what are really those limitations and seeing into those different belief systems of like um and that is actually what fascinating is when someone is selling something because they're not selling it within the context of what the matrix has allowed the sales to be in which is selling cars selling pleasure selling an idea right selling um <laughs> selling a whole manipulation haze selling whatever it is that's okay right because it is going within the system what the system wants it's such a deep conditioning and then when you come and you're actually wanting to sell which is provide right sell what you have to offer in whatever expression it is which is your own expression whatever you're wanting to create but because it's not fitting that specific system immediately it's projected onto oh there's something of an agenda there there's something weird but in other moments if someone's selling you a drug uh, selling you something because you're sick it's that's okay right so there's all these different things that have been tainted and now all of a sudden it's like we've been so enmeshed with those different perspectives even the ones that we've taken on within the spiritual journey everything is enmeshed and now it's like this opportunity to bring it out and clear it and clarify it and that's actually where it's connecting me to the point of cults now actually that one is really fascinating because now it's like such a buzzword it's like everything is a cult and now it's like the new age is a cult and the whole it's kind of i want to say that it's kind of like this new thing with even conspiracy so like conspiracy and cult have become those two buzzwords right now and they're just literally abused and misused you say something oh yeah it's a conspiracy you just share your truth oh, it's a conspiracy theory um you literally embody a specific truth oh you're in a cult you find passion and devote something else oh you're in a cult that is quite fascinating because the truth is that what if i want to break down like literally what the energy of cult is it's literally brainwash it's something that is where it's put whatever it is it could be actually a person that could carry that energy it could be an organization it could be community whatever it is it's something that just based on manipulation and based on programming you okay with something so if you actually think about it is that anything that does not allow you to be free anything that doesn't uh, give you you know when they say like somebody is actually empowering you and then they call that thing a, a cult well that thing is empowering you to be free and free as the real that's so funny the real coding of freedom not the inversion freedom we're seeing out there in terms of the whole agendas that are being created with what to do with sexuality like freedom and sexuality no 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 that's an inversion that has been used about freedom but it's more of a freedom of a soul the freedom of the essence the freedom of the heart within something that allows you to completely tap into your light not things that the freedom that allows you to that that is is um false reality that has been sold to actually just feed off more of the matrix 
but freeing being free sovereign and who we are as divine beings this is what it really comes down to and so that's been fascinating just to see that whenever somebody is getting out seeing through the veil wanting to free i i really cannot say any other words because some people are going to say like oh yeah you believe you're not free then you're not free but words are interesting but to free yourself from the threads of the system so that's the other thing also it's about dependency right and occult it's like this manipulation in order for you to depend to be dependent and so it's literally an energy but what happened is that and what reminds me of is if you have not watched it i highly recommend you watch the show brave new world i read the book uh when i was 15 i don't even know why i read it it was part of literature but i remember i don't know about you guys but i'm not a book reader um till now i don't read books but back then i had to because of school and i remember that I read so many books and there's only that one that stood in with me. It's just stuck with me. It's so fascinating. And they launched a show about it, which of course they canceled the second season for, but it's literally very similar to The Matrix. And what fascinated me in watching it, that there was something about how it was all part of a simulation and there are specific people that started waking up because it's all based on being numb. And few people started waking up to feelings, to reconnecting to their heart, to reconnecting to love. And what they were, they were starting rebelling. And everybody else would come in and say, you are destabilizing the system. You are destabilizing us as a community. And that really stood out for me because the word you're destabilizing, this culture, cult, sure, that we were based in, does not want people to be free they don't want people to live individually like an individual being they want everybody to go and follow something what they've done is actually reject so if you do not conform in the name of what they project out is that you're destabilizing you're becoming chaotic you are changing you're creating a change a mutation that is not supposed to happen there's something wrong with you right you are the one that is wrong you're the one that is creating pain bringing pain and all of this has been just projected onto you in order to conform because you want to belong you don't want to be rejected out and the truth is is that that is the same that is playing out here anything that is going against the culture because we are the matrix itself is the biggest cult and if you think about it dependency without it we lose so much so you just rely on it if you exit right if you read the calls they want you to exit your family and the loved ones it's in reverse if you exit okay the matrix to be in the true community with the people that you truly love with the people that really are there to support you you're exiting the cult it's completely based on manipulation on false devotion you're devoting yourself to the pleasure of this world you are devoting yourself to materialism you are unconsciously actually being a slave a huge blinded follower to technology to specific brands this is the biggest illusion this is the biggest cult and anything else that comes and diverts it actually has become called the projection right it's very common in projections like when somebody um it's a huge mechanism with the ego right if you do not claim who you are and you don't want to be honest and you want to lie so what you do is that you project whatever you're feeling onto the other person it's the same on a bigger scale that created is a lot of that inversion or that mistrust and the new things that are coming up that everything has become cult in some way now does that mean that the infiltration is running because if you want to see it as like this motherboard right the matrix it's our motherboard and as i was saying in the beginning the grid is we have those codings within us so the person if they are not operating from their own light they carry on and they can take on those things because they have an energy that wants to rebel that wants to create something new there could be some leadership aspect but if they do not keep honoring the light and keep the being devoted to the light of awareness and to god and to love what can happen there is that they can 
bring that infiltration of that culty energy from the motherboard into its own small expression. So noticing the programming is something really getting you to program, program yourself, condition yourself in a way that is not empowering you, that is not supporting you to tap into more of your own inner leadership, your own inner sovereignty. And that is super important. It's creating instead any sort of division and any sort of reliance mechanism and dependency. So it's really important to noticing right now that we're kind of moving through that energy very strongly and wanting to bring more truth, bring more light, bring the higher truth, bring more that light so that any sort of deception kind of fall away because using those different manipulative tactics to pull you out of where you know you're supposed to be. There's a lot of projections, a lot of projections coming up and really following your heart and following your truth there. It's an important key right now to notice where the distortion and the disruption is coming up. Really the haze. And it's very difficult because if you wear those lens of suspicion, of being being overly suspicious about what is going on around, which is really what is going on because there's a breaking open of like the seed within us that is really breaking open a new foundation, a new template, a new architecture. And because that is happening, the fear is going to amplify. The fear is amplifying. There's this very strong fear narrative that is being generated through the generator of that matrix. Again, collectively, and it's going down into your um, personal. So noticing where your external environment is maybe putting those weird hazes of fear around you, but also could be internal mechanisms of fear that are generated. And then it creates this unclarity and create this disruption in, in your field. And then you don't anymore rely on your inner compass because you are confused. And then you're wanting to gain clarity from the outside space, which is really a codependency that you have because you are relying on the system that is outside of you that is really not the system that you want to be actually relying on or asking because you're the system that you are trying to unplug from because you're wanting to create a new system. So that is actually quite fascinating that this dynamic is playing out and to notice that this is really the process of the unleashing, the cracking open, the recalibration, the reconfiguration that is wanting to come through. So if you're feeling to do some of that intentional inner alchemy work, oh, you can check out my website. We could do some of that work there. Um, otherwise, let me know also your experience in the comments below and um, share that message around as well with other people.